Dr. Janan Atilgan is my guest. She's the new director for the South Caucasus for the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung. Uh, this is one of the German foundations that's really active in the Caucasus. And the German government, in its endless wisdom, has a very interesting way of funding these foundations that also support and teach a specific political ideology. So welcome and please tell us about this wise system. Thank you very much. Well, uh, indeed, it is a unique uh, system that we have in Germany uh, with the political foundations. You will uh, not find any similar expression even in other parts of the world, uh, such as political foundation. So what it means exactly is, for example, the Konrad Adenauer Foundation is ideologically closed to the Christian Democratic Union Party, which is the governing party right Today. now in mm -hmm. Germany with Chancellor Merkel. Chancellor Merkel is, a, of course, a member of our board. But we are not directly funded by the uh, political party. We do not fund the political party. We are funded by public money, mm, so to say taxpayers' money. In, in some sort of percentage based on popularity? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, based, it's a very complicated system. All political mem mem parties that are represented in the German Bundestag, in the parliament, have, uh, can be part of this system mm -hmm. or are part of this system. And there is a very complicated percentage on the votes that a political party got, on the members, uh, mm -hmm. number mm -hmm. of members in the parliament. And so uh, there is a key that uh, calculates how much from the public money one foundation or the other one would but get. But at the end of the day, the role of the foundation is to teach democracy. democracy. Exactly. This is something which is, is Germany learned from, uh, from the uh, Third Reich and the Second World War. After that, the idea was to uh, go with civic education all over the country to teach or to engage the people, motivate the people in uh, more democratic ideas. You know, you know, of course, that in this part of the world, everything you said sounds very funny. Um, the idea that a political party gets, you know, the political party's ideology is to be taught uh, is, is fascinating and, and one of the parts that is very interesting is that Germany, unlike many, many countries, has actually chosen to learn from history as opposed to, yeah. you know, leaving itself open to repeating it. What is it that the Adenauer Foundation uh, wants to try to accomplish in a region like ours where we're apparently not learning from history? Well, let me uh, add something to this. Uh, you know, the foundation, let's take Conrad Adenauer Foundation, why it was established almost 60 years ago. And now already 50 years, we are active in international uh, cooperation. That means after 10 years of working in Germany. the country, in Germany, the success was so big that we were invited from other countries Mm. Uh, to bring our expertise in political or civic education into the countries. So, therefore, we do similar work like we work in Germany. In, we are represented in Asia, we are in uh, South America, we are even in Western Europe. There the program is slightly different, but in developing countries, we bring in this concept of civic education, which should be pluralistic. It is not the point to teach the people about a political system. No, it is to teach uh, especially the youth in different approaches, different thinking, different ideas to that participation should be in competing. Governance. Yeah. You know, again, in this part of the world, the conspiracy theories abound. And of course, we all think that all you, you know, foreign organizations in Armenia have an agenda and off you go with that agenda. Do you have an agenda or do you wait for the agenda to be locally born? I mean, we have our agenda is to contribute to more democratic uh, development, to more rule of law and to more regional understanding. So this, of course, is of benefit for uh, Germany as well as for Europe. So this is so far our agenda. I don't think there is anything negative about it. So coming back to the conspiracy theories, that's right. But I mean, to be very um, 
clear. We work with local partners. We do not push an agenda of our own in the countries. We always, there is no activity, there is even no research that we would do on our very own. We would always see what are the forces, what are the dynamics in the country, are there partners that share with us the same vision, mission in terms of democracy pro promotion, and with them we would actually support their agenda, not our agenda. Um, let me just ask one question about the region. Uh, I know you're new to the region, but yeah. you're obviously aware that this is one of those tough places where we either don't talk to each other, like Armenia and Azerbaijan, yeah. or in the case of Armenia and Georgia, we just simply forget the other one exists. So the idea of learning from Germany's experience of uh, have, uh, not just having to deal with unlikely friends, neighbors, but wanting to try to deal with them, is there anything that the German experience can bring to this region that perhaps other experiences cannot? But I think if the example of Germany is so impressive that you don't need to bring anything in. I mean, look at the history of Germany. Two world wars, after the Second World War, everything destroyed, there is nothing to save anymore. And then it starts the process of cooperating with the uh, so-called hostile uh, neighbors mm -hmm. means to get uh, mm -hmm. not independent from them, but to uh, for, I mean to uh, like pursue now, the, sure. the uh, interdependencies, and this is the formula of Germany's success, economic as well as political. Well, there's certainly a whole lot to learn from. We hope to keep talking to you and the Adenauer Foundation and. Um, each of us do what we can to make those dialogues and interdependencies more obvious. Thank you. Thank you also.